Uh, the next topic is um, how to use feed forward uh, in a boiler level control. Uh, this is a very simplified um, three element um, level control and we want to use a feed forward in order to control and we use a very uh, simple uh, simulation program and we will uh, perform simulation and uh, I'll, show you, I'll show you how to use feed forward to make the uh, this control system uh, stable if you have uh, any variations in a steam um, the boiler level is uh, is controlled by amount of steam, uh, steam demand, the amount of steam that is exported. Uh, that uh, steam flow is indication of amount of steam uh, exported, and uh, we need to uh, support uh, the uh, steam drum with the proper fresh water uh, via this. Um, uh, flow control so we uh, have in a normal operation we consider uh, we have a casket uh, level control casket level control is uh, commanding uh, the flow control this uh, FC402 to regulate the uh, fresh water uh, this is the uh, fresh water and after being boiled the steam is transferred so uh, if we, uh, we don't consider the feed forward uh, and uh, any variation in steam is ignored and uh, fluctuation in the steam will have severe fluctuation effect in the uh, in the level in the level because when the steam is high uh, the level of the boiler is getting low and um, it's possible for uh, it's possible to shut down the uh, level if it's it's uh, it's high and uh, it takes time to compensate and if uh, it, we cannot compensate uh, it's possible to shut down the uh, boiler due to low level for a water low level. Uh, so we need to um, consider the uh, steam flow as a fit forward, as extra information. Uh, in uh, this example, we um, consider the uh, steam flow is fluctuating and we want to uh, use this uh, fit forward in order to inform the master level control and by um, regulating the uh, water flow we compensate in case of uh, more demanding flow in case of more demanding flow we need to increase the uh, inlet flow inlet flow of fresh water and in case of lower demand we should uh, close the uh, close the flow control valve and reduce the amount of water to the uh, boiler drum uh, in this case we use the positive uh, feed forward gain our ff gain is positive one and uh, um, we use the steam flow for uh, uh, extra information regarding the uh, variation load variation so i um, explained the program in the uh, uh, in the delta v environment so we have only one control valve and three transmitters uh, this is the master loop, uh, a slave loop, and it's this is the feed forward information, and we have the positive feed forward gain. So we should go to the delta V program. We have a, a delta V level control and delta V level simulation. 
simulation is um, mm, somehow uh, water accumulation and uh, uh, variation creating variation in the uh, in the steam generated uh, steam or after the steam uh, first let me disable the uh, FF uh, enable and uh, let's see and again let me change it to auto automatic mode mode auto let's see what's the effect of what's the effect of uh, mm, feed forward you can see that when we disable the feed forward uh, the control quality is um, damaged or reduced so we are in automatic let's uh, check several cycles Uh, let me return the uh, return the fit, enable the fit forward I need to put the PID in manual FF enable enable the fit forward true and uh, change the uh, mode to automatic and wait for a while to uh, wait for a while to reach to the a steady state and uh, because we, we are in manual and uh, now we are going to automatic mode mm. so uh, put, being in uh, being in uh, uh, using fit for earth there is a uh, great advantage in this example you can see extra information from external load change uh, steam um, uh, steam demand is changing because we don't have any information about, about the steam users but uh, the flow of the steam is a great and valuable information to help us uh, to get the uh, best reactions you can see that um, steam flow is uh, um, fed uh, to the feed forward value and by enabling the feed forward in PID1 uh, we are uh, making a steer you can see that the level control is getting more the stable less uh, variations in the uh, in the level control it's a great tool it's a great tool it's also possible to implement um, same behavior uh, by mpc uh, it's also it's also possible to use mpc for dynamic uh, load changes but for this application the easiest way is using the um, using the uh, steam flow as the input for a feed forward it's a very uh, good example and I highly recommend you to explore this example and function test that I will provide all files and you can uh, check all the uh, details. Thank you for watching.